The rocks of 70% of the surface of the Earth have been neglected by geologists until the very recent past. And that's because those rocks are at the bottom of the oceans. And the bottoms of the oceans have been inaccessible until very recently, until technology allowed drilling. And some of the unsung geological expeditions of present years take place over the oceans. There are drilling ships crisscrossing the Atlantic and the Pacific and the Indian Oceans practically 12 months of the year. And that sort of new knowledge of the oceans is contributing to a much greater understanding of this large area of our planet. But it's still probably true to say that our maps of the moon surface are better than our maps of the ocean floors, although that is rapidly changing due to the exploration, the present exploration of the oceans. The understanding of the nature of the rock of the ocean floors is an example of how the knowledge of many different areas has come together to give an understanding of a geological phenomenon or a geological problem, because that's what it was until very recently. The understanding of the ocean floors is another of the eureka moments in geology, like the realization that the shell of the Earth was divided into plates. When you watch this hour, you might like to remember one of the geological cliches, and that is that gases and liquids forget, but rocks remember. When you get to the second half of the coming hour, see if you can understand the sense of that expression. But the first half of the hour is the Planet of Man program, The Challenge of the Deep. This program is about the sediments on the deep sea floor. These are important for two reasons. One is that heretofore we knew nothing about them because we had no means of studying them. The other is that recently it's become realized that mankind is in danger of facing shortages of some metals and fuels. And the ocean floors, which cover a larger area of the Earth's surface than do the continents, may provide a reservoir of oil and many metals which will be important in the future economy of the world. stands always on the edge. Awed by power and vastness. But like Narcissus gazing into the pool, man looks and sees only a reflection of himself. From the earliest discovery that he could sit astride a log and float, Man learned to travel with the wind and the waves. With the mastery of water transport came sea power, trading, and colonization. In 1866, Isambard Kingdom Brunel built a huge iron ship. 
the Great Eastern, that paddle wheeled and propelled her way across the Atlantic. In her wake, she lay the first successful transatlantic telegraph link. With the practical aim of improving communication and making money, exploration of the ocean floor suddenly became a reality. With interest at a high, Her Majesty's ship Challenger was dispatched to explore the deep seas. Challenger was the first scientific ship committed to major ocean investigation. After a voyage of three and a half years and 70,000 miles, she returned home in 1875. Over a hundred years later, we are still the pragmatists, still exploring the ocean. Probing a landscape far more extraordinary than anything above the surface of the sea. Like blind men with canes four miles long, we seek to see for the benefit of mankind and a healthy profit. Today, there are new demands for every kind of raw material. And these demands have modified our interest in the deep sea, from communication cables to oil and minerals. By the end of this century, the demand for resources will have multiplied many times. Facing future shortages, we are forced to develop both an understanding of the deep sea with its potential riches and the technology to exploit them. That understanding and technology began on the Challenger expedition. They discovered soft clay deposits that covered the seabed, and for want of a better name, they called it ooze. The ocean floor is covered by material that has been accumulating for over a hundred million years. Sedimentation. The slow, silent rain of material from the surface. The sudden, violent rush of turbid water into the ocean depths. 